The results of the lucky lottery winner. <gasps> One genie Lorray. Hey pandas! Welcome back to my Not So Berry with a Twist challenge. As always, all of the original Not So Berry rules and the twist rules will be in the description box below. The twist being that we're adding all the different X Pack gameplay to the different generations. So for this generation, we will be back in Sulani, which I have re reimagined it with lots from the gallery that are all like self sustained, kind of more eco friendly. And later, we will be moving to Evergreen Harbor and doing the same. A current playlist will also be in the description box below so if you've missed anything make sure you like and subscribe and check that out in our last episode we had our first day of work first few days of work actually and i think that we had our first day off i actually think that we just purchased a lottery ticket and we're waiting to see if we won <laughs> i doubt it <laughs> i never win those kinds of things but as you guys can see all of room's outfits are all done up now she is looking so beautiful i love her so so much in today's episode, we're going to just continue plugging away at our career, I think. I, um, I don't really have any plans, so we'll see where The Sims 4 leads us. Shall we? Okay, I lied. I may have one plan later. I did go nuts and of course start taking more pictures and because I was taking more pictures and I had already filled up her plates with pictures, I was like, oh, I should put all of the pictures of her family in just one of these cute digital photo frames. It changes like every hour. So all of her family pictures have loaded up into that. She took these really cute beach selfies. OMG, love. So I did redecorate a little bit because uh, I went CC shopping and I have a problem. But I found this desk that allows you to have like a whole, whole bunch of things placed on it. So I was able to put some pictures up. She's got like a little candle, books. Of course, she's got the picture of Ace hiding back there. <laughs> Her computer so that way she can work and everything. And she's got some groceries here. So since I took the bedroom out of her, out of her, um, since I took the bedroom out of her desk, wow. Since I took the desk out of her bedroom, I added this um, like little closet thing. So that way she has like all her clothes and stuff. It's really cute. And of course we have a dog bed because hopefully we will be adopting a dog. It's of course raining again. It rains a lot in Sulani in springtime. <laughs> so I had her come out here and do a painting from reference because she was inspired and I tried to like get a picture of the dolphins jumping but I didn't, I just got the buoy. And I thought that this was covered so she could paint out here but um... It's not. It's not covered. Sorry, darling. You're a little wet. Painting's gonna be a bit wet. My bad. Oh, look. See, it's not raining anymore. Perfect time to paint. Look at the little buoy. Cute. Also, 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 I really want her to, like, suck at cooking. Is there a way to lock? Does anybody know? If anybody knows, you guys, please comment down below. Is there a way to, like, lock her skill for cooking because it keeps going up and I want her to like just not be good at cooking. I downloaded these uh, menus from Ravishing and I want her to just like order food. Just be like, oh, be like buy food instead of having to cook food because she's just not good at that. I don't know. I want her, her cooking skill to be like locked at like three. <laughs> I just want her to just not be very, you know, like, you know, like she's gonna have a kid and she's not gonna be very mom like. I want them to be like, you know, make me dinner and she's just like, uh. <laughs> this looks awful. <laughs> oh, it must have been because it was maybe because it rained on. Maybe that's why. Let's put it on Plopsy. Oh my god, that is so cute. And I really, really, really want to go. Ace says, Hey Crimson, I was wondering if you wanted to stop by and meet my new kitty I adopted. That is so cute. The new story progressions allows them to like adopt pets and stuff. And Ace adopted a kitty and I really want to go, but like in my brain she can't just like hop on a plane and just go see Ace. Uh... Uh, I really wanted to do that. This feline fascination is cat make excellent pets. Sure, some would even say perfect from a neighbor adopting a furry friend. Oh, that's cute. So today we're going to go we're gonna go over here. I want to check this out over here. This looks really cool. Let's come over here. Look at this. This is really, really pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, can I get up on that bridge? It looks like I totally can get up on that bridge. We're gonna climb up to the top of this ladder and swan dive into the water. Swan dive or cannonball? What did I do? Cannonball. Don't get cold feet, Rim. It's okay. You can do it. 
Oh, she got cold feet, you guys. So I was trying to have her like climb the ladder, but it's not working, unfortunately. I don't know if this lot wasn't play tested, but she can't climb up the ladder. All she does is kind of glitch out. That's really depressing. <laughs> wait, oh wait, look, she's climbing up the ladder now. She's figuring her life out. All right, you can do it. Come on, girl, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a climb, it's fine. I mean, I wouldn't jump from there. Oh my god, oh. Yeah, it's it's pretty messed up. Oh, that's really depressing. This is a really pretty lot, but unfortunately it just it's more for looks, I suppose. Maybe this just for looks, not really for the diving aspect, but it is really gorgeous. I love this. It's so great beautiful. Do you just imagine just like sleeping here? Like, oh my gosh. Not like actually sleeping, but you know, sleeping. Well, I guess we're just gonna have Rim go home and go to bed. Oh, looks like we came home like literally right in time. It is starting to rain. Let's go inside. Make sure we don't get, um, I guess it doesn't matter if we get wet wet in our bathing suits. So I'm gonna go ahead and have her do, um, like shower, brush her teeth, all that fun stuff and go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, sadly, she could not use her bed with all the stuff underneath it. I don't know why. It was not blocking the ladder or anything, but whatever. And then she couldn't use her front door because the, the table stuck out just an eensy weensy bit too much. So, of course, Sims was like, uh. Oh, yay! We were promoted while we were sleeping. That's cool. Crimson's been promoted to land surveyor. She will now make an additional $7 an hour for a grand total of $25 an hour. She'll also receive the following bonus. Spray invasive species. Oh, yay! And my next shift is today in an hour, and we're going to um, work from home again. Survey wildlife at Mual Plum, which is the area where the cave is, and then we need to spread awareness to others. Easy peasy work. We could do that. The Tisa Wallake. Oh, for the love of all things unholy, let's fix this. Much better. So now that we have our work outfit on and we are looking so cute, let's head off. All right, so we have a couple of fishing spots to check out, but of course I am going to be checking out that cave again because now we are actually wearing proper boots to go into a cave like that. So let's see if this fishing spot is gonna to need to be sprayed. And we also need to head back to the main island and spray that other fishing. Was it that on the main island? No, I think it was on where, like, where I live. And of course, I have a foggy brain, so, you know, I forget. Our tablet looks like it's, like, wigging out. Like, because we're the new person, we got the crappy tablet. We got the tablet that's almost, like, just, like, on its last limbs of life. <laughs> Look at it. It's the one where you have to, like, wiggle the charger just right in order to get it to actually charge. <laughs> okay, so we discovered an invasive species, so now this will be the first time that we can actually spray. So we could spray the invasive species. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wonder if I should have took a photo first. I'm not sure what this is really, like what invasive species are we spraying? I thought we were surveying the fish, but it looks like, like are we spraying for termites? What are we doing? I don't know, she looks pretty confident in what she's doing though. It's our first time spraying. We have no idea what we're doing. I'm sure all this poisonous spray is fine. It's fine, don't complain. The termites are going to be dead, so, you know, the poison's fine. I think we got rid of the termites in the sign. I want to go check out that cave again. We're going to get wet because we're going to have to swim there. Okay, so the last time we were in here, it said that there was an invasive species already, so we're going to go ahead and have her spray. Even my eyes have eyes. Can you see them? All of them? Uh... Uh, what? No? I don't even know who you are. Like, what if somebody just randomly called you and said that? She'd be like, um, click. Okay, I realize I might know who she is because Rim kind of knows a few people. She knows a few people. She's She's gotten around. Jesus, Rim. Oh my god, no. Mm. I did... I did download a graveyard that I'm going to be using for the whole legacy, but I'm not ready to go and put Cosmos down yet, you guys. I'm just not. I can't. Phoenix just called us and said, what are the traffic lights I did the car? Don't look! I'm about to change. Did I make you laugh? <laughs> okay, Phoenix, you made me laugh. The results of the lucky lottery winner. <gasps> oh my god! Dad won the lottery, you guys! Brandon meant Mary. The best luck to Brandon is it's time for him to quit that job and stop thinking about- Oh my god, that is- 
That's insane. That is insane. I mean, I know, like, they say money can't buy your happiness, but, you know, after your cat dies and all your kids move out, winning, like, a million dollars, I think that could, you know, buy you know, maybe a smile. So we just sprayed the cave and we went back in and we surveyed it again. So hopefully that, that we got rid of the invasive species, but I guess we will see when she gets out of the cave if we did. Let's see what she says. How interesting, Crimson was able to gather very valuable data. Okay, well, I guess very valuable data is good. So all we need to do is just survey wildlife one more time and spread awareness. And then we're done for work for the day. I mean, and it's already like noon and that's it. Oh my gosh, is this trash? <gasps> the nerve! We have all this nasty garbage so that way no ducks or sea turtles or dolphins, anything gets any of this. This is gross. And we're gonna also test the water. The water seems to be good. So this is the last fishing spot here that we need to survey with our glitchy tablet. <laughs> and then we need to um, spread conservation awareness to somebody and then we're done for the day. And then we have the day to do whatever we want. I cannot believe that dad won the lottery. Like, that is actually crazy. My sims never win. And then of course the sim that I'm actively playing doesn't win, but like a sim that I was actively playing does win. <laughs> That's just funny. Really kinda, kinda explains maybe why Yellow Gen is gonna be spoiled AF. Because the Yellow Gen is completely different in the Twist Challenge. In the Twist Challenge, because Mindy in my Mint Challenge pretty much did a lot of what the Yellow Gen is supposed to do in the original Not So Berry Challenge, the Yellow Gen is actually all um, get famous, the get famous expansion. So the the yellow gen is very self absorbed, very diva, very oh my god, stuck on me, very snubby. So yeah, that could really explain it with them winning the lottery and having all this excess money that they weren't able to have and spend on their own children. Okay, so we couldn't find anything. That's good. And then somebody also purchased a painting that I put on Plopsy. Those are always good. Those always sell for pretty good. Oh, I have to click on the mailbox. I was like, how do I sell it again? I forgot. Gotta click on the mailbox. All right. I wish that there was someone we can complain to about all this waste dumpage here, but I just don't know who I would actually like complain to. I'd have to figure out who owns the... Who owns the shipping yard? So we came up here on the island, and up here is the island's, like, pet shelter area where they have, um, like, rescues, and the vet is here, too. So, I mean, like, you can see a couple little bunnies here. So yeah, we came up here because we wanted to spread our conservation awareness, which we just did. So we just finished our career, what we're supposed to be doing for the day, only 2 o'clock, always, like, 2 hours early. And, um, of course, we came up here because we were hoping to maybe sneak a peek at, um, an animal or two because we are really 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 missing cosmos at this time this is the local vet and he's actually telling us that um they actually had a stray wander in just a few days ago um he's inside um and if we wanted to see him we could um he really needs to go for a walk and they just don't have time their two sons have other things that they would rather be doing like surfing and stuff and they don't want to help help mom and dad with the walking so if we were up for doing a little bit of extra tasks then we can walk the stray so like um of course we're gonna do that let's go inside their house and meet the little puppy look how happy he is to see us oh little puppy oh my goodness hi little puppy oh my god do you like us oh my goodness he is really cute so this is little Bo. he showed up on the island a few weeks ago and they just have not been able to place him nobody wants him nobody's been interested in adopting a puppy recently um especially because i mean he is just a puppy and a puppy is a lot a lot of work but let's see if we could maybe take him for a walk. Aww. Oh, look how cute he is. <laughs> you can't tell me that's not the face of pure love. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can take him for a walk. Oh god. I think the only way I can do that is if I add him to my household. I don't know how to... Unfortunately, I don't know how to have, like, just stray puppies and stuff wandering around. It seems he's an independent dog, so he doesn't really... He's like, I don't really need to go for a walk. I know how to go for a walk all by myself. So we're going to just try and introduce ourselves to him and be nice to him and see if we can offer our friendship to him. Why the in-between-the-legs shot? Why is this a thing? This not 
is not cute. So we're gonna get to know Bo, and then we're gonna head home, and maybe he'll follow us home. Um, I don't know. I can't really leash him up. He doesn't. He doesn't really want that. He's pretty independent. So I guess maybe if he follows us, then he's our pet. And if he doesn't, then he's not. He's a very independent puppy. Oh, he's a cute little bubba, isn't he? Oh, don't you want to be our friend? Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I love him so much. Oh, look how cute he is. Do you think he'll follow us around now? Do you want to be our friend and come home with us, Bo? Hey, it works for people, so I mean, it's got to work for puppies too, right? Rim knows how to get them. You gotta give them food and then they'll follow you anywhere that you want. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I can't wait to take him home. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's so happy that we gave him food. Look at that little tail going. Oh my gosh, hopefully he'll be our friend and we can take him home now. You tell him that we have a little bed and everything ready for him. He's gonna be the perfect companion to help us clean up the island. Yeah, you ready to be a you ready to be a conservationist, Bo? Maybe we can get him a little vest when he grows up into an adult? That would be so stinking cute if we can get him a little vest just like me. Ugh! Yes. Oh, honey, did you eat it all? Oh, Bubba's. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is, you guys. Look how cute. I don't usually get dogs in The Sims because they're kind of a pain with the bathing and everything, but look how cute. I was gonna like um, make him more like Rose Gen and give him um, like a color makeover and everything, but I just, I couldn't. I gave him some heterochromia, um, but he is just so cute, just like this. I downloaded him off the gallery and I will show you guys. I'll insert him right here. This is where I got him off the gallery. Isn't he really cute? This person, this creator has so, so many dogs and they are all gorgeous. All of them, shout out, amazing. So let's see if we can take Bo into our house. Oh look, our neighbor's here. Oh, um, Bo, that's your tail, bud. That's attached to your butt. Yeah, no, you don't want to eat that. Y you would be very, very upset if you actually caught that, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him go. Oh, look at him scared of the birdie house. Oh, don't worry, those big bad birdies won't get you. I won't let those big bad birdies get you, buddy. It's okay. You don't have to be scared of the big bad birdies. Oh my gosh, baby, it's fine. Look at how scared he is of the birdies. He's like, oh my gosh, those birdies are so big and scary. I mean, I suppose from down here, it does look pretty terrifying. Oh, buddy, it's okay. I won't let him get you. It's okay. You don't have to be scared. Ow. Yeah, see, Ow. you're a big, strong boy. Ow. Yes, you are. You tell those birds. Oh my gosh, he's so scared of the birds. Oh, honey. All right, let's see if we could pick up our poor little scared bubbas and bring him in the house. Uh -huh. The stairs are uh -huh. kind of big for him. He's just a little baby right now. Come here, Bo. Oh, who's a baby boy? Oh, who's a cutie? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. Okay, stop with the cuddling and let's see if we can show him around his new house. Let's bring him in here. Let's fill the bowl and show him where his bowl is for him to eat. There you go, Bo. That's where you're going to eat. And this is where you're gonna go potty, Bo, okay? So we're gonna show Bo that this is where he's, his big food bowl is. Oh my gosh, Bo, you're so big. I mean, you're so little, the bowl is so big compared to you. And then we, he has the little, like, um, this is from Ravishing's mod, but it's a little, like, potty pad. I love it. I love it. It allows the dog to go potty inside the house, which is more practical for puppies, I think. Oopa. It allows them to go potty inside the house. I love that. That's awesome. Oh, that we give him his big old ball. His balls look bigger than he is. He's not gonna be able to play with that just yet, Rim, I don't think. That's a pretty big ball for a little bow. Oh, and he loves it. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. He loves it so much. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. I think this is gonna really help improve her mood a lot, a lot. Look how cute he is. Oh my god. He's super duper... T R R Rim! R must you? Like, must you? Look how cute the baby is. Oh my god, I'm just, I love this. Like, she's just sitting here, 
She's got a little bow, you know, just chewing on his ball, and she's just reading her book, and she's just so happy, like, just nice and calm and quiet. She doesn't need all that crazy partying or anything like that. This is much more her, much more her jam right now. I think that she needs less chaos in her life at this moment. The neighbor, it, this is so cute. It said, the neighbors around here like to cook, so when they heard that you hadn't had a substantial meal in a while, they decided to bring over some extra food, and I was just saying that she's not a good cook. I actually cheated her skill back down to three i want to keep it like i want to keep it at like two or three or crap but i don't know how to like lock it like that but that is the sweetest let's is this like the welcome wagon <laughs> that is really sweet that they decided to come by guys thank you so much for bringing some food that would be so nice look like you could use some extra food so we brought by brought you some extra food oh my gosh and we thought you'd like to share they all said the same thing oh my gosh that is really really sweet more people bringing food wow they must have really saw that i don't know how to cook they must have saw the grilled cheese there must have been heard rumor of the horrible grilled cheese. <laughs> I wonder what food they brought. Like, nobody actually has food. Okay, this is weird. Like, okay. And then this guy just went outside swimming. But nobody actually brought food? Okay. I guess I'll just spread conservation awareness to people that came to my house randomly. Dora. Bo. Oh, no. <laughs> Bo doesn't like her. Bo, Bo is a one puppy it. person, maybe. Bella? Gonna be a good guard <laughs> doggy. Which is what she needs. I mean, she, she's all by herself. Bo, Bo. So we're gonna send a text to mom and we're gonna talk about we're just gonna have them text back and forth about dad winning the lottery like what how could dad have won the lottery that's insane like first dad is possessed by strange fruit and now dad won the lottery like how does dad have the weirdest luck mom's like i don't know if i would call being possessed by strange fruit luck rem i have no idea if anybody's gonna bring me food like she's just reading a book this old guy went outside and has been like swimming this whole time he's going to actually die out there um and and I have work tomorrow, so I guess I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay, thanks for thanks for coming. I hope this guy does not actually die. He's an elder. He's in the water. He's not getting out, and this like extra food thing is still gonna go on for a few hours. On another note, look how big this bed is for our boy. Oh my gosh, don't worry, he'll fill it out. He'll fill it out. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's still out here. I don't, uh, don't really know what he's doing. Yeah, if he brought food, it's probably soggy now. He's a little scared his first night in the new place. It's pretty big. All new smells and everything, and he's just a little scared. Oh, he's gonna play. As long as he doesn't wake us up again. As long as he be a good boy, he can play while we sleep. He's the bestest boy. This guy is literally just sitting here. He still has like 45 minutes until the food thing like is over. And he's an elder and he's just sitting in this water. And I'm like, dude, you are going to die, my dude, if you do not get out of this water. You're gonna actually like just drown. I'm pretty sure elders drown. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Uh, dude, you almost made it. Like you almost like... You almost made it to the end of the fast food thing, man. Don't die on me yet. Oh, he looks happy actually. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping. It's fine. We do not need people dying on our lot. We really don't. Okay, the fast food thing's over. Oh good. He's he's leaving. Good. Leave, please. I don't want to see Groom again. So it's early morning. We're gonna go ahead and do our... Oh, we're gonna go ahead and work from home again. We're gonna take Bo with us. We need to research. That's super easy. So we're gonna take Bo over to that dare. Uh, oh. Oh my god, that is so cute. I need to lock that. Lock. Look how cute that is. I love that. Anyways, we're gonna go over there with Bo. So we came here, we bought little Bo. We're gonna see what he's gonna get into. Probably some crazy shenanigans or whatever. And we're going to use the computer. What are you gonna do, little Bo? What mischief are you gonna get into? Just don't get like sprayed by a skunk or anything because I actually don't own a bathtub. Probably, probably should have thought about that before adopting a dog. Rim looks so bored doing her job. She looks like she would much rather be like uh, partying with all these people. Oh, maybe I should get the computer at her house to work instead. This is pretty distracting. 
Oh no, he's very distracting. Don't check out guys, Rim, keep working. So we traveled back to Malplim with, um, with Bo, so that way we could take our pictures that we need to take for the day. No, not pictures of Bo. Yes, that is a lovely sign, isn't it? It's a lovely fishing sign. Can I take photos of the exact same thing? That's cheating, right? Oh my God, that totally counts. That's cheating. We're gonna go to the cave. Let's go take a picture of the cave. That's a lovely picture of a cave. Yes, it is. I guess we could take two pictures of the cave. Gorgeous. We'll take another one. Why not? Wow. Done with work for the day. So you guys just need to work from home. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and we're done. Like, what should we do now? <laughs> So since we're done with our work for the day, we are going to wander around the beach and pick up anything that we find. We're gonna comb the beach for trash, see if we can find anything else that we could survey, maybe spray, do some extra credit work. It would be really cool if I could like um, tell my dog to scare away the flock of seagulls. If I could be like, hey Bo, go scare the bird birds away. There's like this guy following me. He's been following me ever since like way back there. I think he wants to say hi to me or something. Winter. Ugh, get out of here, seagulls. Oh, what's the matter, buddy? You look very uncomfortable. Is it because you're in your underwear? Yeah, I'm gonna complain sure. about liars. Okay, let's see what she thinks about him. So his first impression of us is that he's fun to be around, that he thinks that we're fun to be around and we think that he's in dreamland. This scene appears to be a bit of in his own bubble. Maybe, <laughs> well, I mean, he is like in his underwear, but we do perceive him as very attractive. Probably because he's in his underwear. <laughs> Oh my god, she just gave him a hug. He said he was dealing with some things and she gave him a hug like right out of the blue like that. And now she's sharing ugh, she's sharing vampire knowledge. I swear, she knows so much about vampires and I don't even know why. Her mom did too. Like, where did that even come from? It's so bizarre. I just sent you some money I owed you from a long time ago. Um, thank you? Eight bucks? Wow, you shouldn't have. It must have been like lunch money from high school. Okay. Oh no, the seagulls are back, you guys. They like have the goal, <laughs> the goal to land here while I'm here. Rude. All she's doing is sharing vampire knowledge with these people. Like, ugh. and of course I'm. Oh my god. Mindy did the same thing just by talking about vampire stuff. Oh my god, it's so random. Maybe she'll stop now. I was going to put him in something else besides his underwear, but that is actually his swim outfit. I'm pretty hungry. I wonder if there's a place that I can get some food at. I wonder where Mr. Dupree lives. So this uh, lot right here is a beach lot, but I think it has food on it. Oh, I think if I come in here, I could probably cook something. Yeah, there's a grill, so I could probably just travel to this lot and cook some. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Dupree. I guess we'll just travel here so we can cook some food because I'm hungry. So we're gonna grill up a burger because we are hungry. <laughs> and I told her to grill one burger. Maybe we're just gonna all combine them all and it's just gonna be one giant like six tuplet burger that we're gonna like smash together and then just like <sighs> and I know that she's cooking it but I'm gonna pretend <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that dine out works we're gonna pretend for a minute that dine out works and so we're gonna pretend that she's sitting here and somebody else is cooking it for her <laughs> okay but if I want to eat sometime this decade I need to cook it myself I have discovered. Oh yeah, somebody brought us lunch. She hates this place though. She's like, this place is so like kind of grimy and dirty. It's all put together with all this trash. Ugh. But we're enjoying a nice hamburger. I mean, I guess there was no reason why this place couldn't have been repurposed and reused, but it's still really sad that the environment has been trashed up like this in the first place. I think we've had quite a few successful days of work. I mean, when she goes back to work, she'll get her fourth promotion and all we have to do is get to conservation career level six before we move on to Evergreen Harbor, before we take our fight to the man. So yeah, I think that we're only going to be here in Sulani for another couple episodes and then we'll be getting ready to move on and move out. And I can't wait. I've been having such a good time. I'm so happy with little Bo. He's so cute. I'm sorry I didn't like properly adopt him or anything like that, but I just cannot figure out how to get stray puppies in my game. But I would like to maybe get him a friend. I think that it would be really nice if he had a, a litter mate. I think it would be really cute. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I'm probably going to be adopting him a friend. I think he needs it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys on the next time. Happy swimming and bye! Yeah. Got for bay? Spot.